So in this video I'm going to explain how this Twitter box works. Um, you can build this yourself. Um, probably 10 bucks worth of parts. Um, of course this is a 3D uh, printed box. So what it's doing right now is um, you know Dread it's listening on Twitter for the keyword color. It looks and sees if there's a color I have um, the three primary and the three secondary colors set up and also white so I also want to show you that this is bi-directional so if I push this tweet button see it flashes in the pattern and then it just tweeted at me tweet from Arduino ESP8266 alright so here in real time let's go ahead and uh, monitor this traffic so this is an MQTT test client. It's, it's watching the messages go by. This is just kind of a log. I'm using Hive MQ as the MQTT broker, but you can see the colors rolling through. So blue, this thing gets it. And the color almost churns before this stuff updates. It's so fast. So waiting, waiting. Okay, so we got a blue. There was a red, a blue and a red. You saw switch white. And another white. All right, so what's inside? We've got an ESP8266 uh, Arduino compatible uh, microcontroller. It's a Wi-Fi enabled, so it's listening to MQTT messages. Some resistors and a three color LED. This is just a uh, USB power supply. It's providing 5 volts for the device. Then, of course, we have a button for tweeting. So it's in a 3D printed enclosure. That's pretty straightforward stuff. And the pre-processing, so to speak, is done in Node-RED. Node-RED is an open uh, flow-based um, engine that you can install and run on just about anything. It's free and open source. So. What it's doing right now is it's listening. It uses my account and it's listening to all tweets for color. When it does that um, in this function, I'm looking in the message and I'm saying, okay, well, does it have red, green, blue, white, yellow? These are the colors that I'm able to handle in the Arduino. And if, if it does find it, it goes ahead and passes that color on into the MQTT message. And of course the Arduino is listening for a color. Um, you can see that there are lots of uh, tweets going right now for color. And then if I push the button on the Arduino, we are just listening to our MQTT broker for this thing called Arduino Out. Um, we're listening to the topic and if we get any message it goes ahead and tweets it it's pretty pretty straightforward so Arduino code pretty straightforward you can um, so what we're doing is we set up the Wi-Fi SSID and password the IP address of the machine that's running node red could be a Raspberry Pi could be a PC whatever and then some topics. Um, this is what we're listening to. We're listening to the topic called Arduino. And I use authentication for my MQTT uh, server. Let's just scroll down to the good stuff. So we have pins. These are the three pins that we're using for the three different colors. And then this is the pin we're using for the button. If we go ahead and receive a message, we kind of have to clean up this thing and we put it in a thing called Rx. So anyway, we get it clean. We turn all the LEDs off. Then we say, well, if it's red, do this, write the, the red LED high, green, blue, magenta, and so forth. And then the button down here is we're just watching for this input. We're reading the we do a digital read 
and if it's changed we go ahead and publish and here's where this is what we tweet um, you could of course change this or make it dynamic um, the sky's really the limit on that so if you wanted to do this yourself of course you need to buy a, some kind of a Arduino that can get on the network because um, MQTT is a IP based protocol so Wi-Fi or Ethernet you can go to my github and this is the Arduino code you can go ahead and copy this and paste it into your Arduino IDE and load it into your Arduino the other part of it though is that uh, node red flow I have a, a link right here so um, flows.nodered.org is where people can share their flows so I'm gonna go ahead and show you you can just grab this and I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna go to node red this is what you would do after you got your node red up and running we can go ahead and do a import from clipboard I'm gonna do control V to paste into there and lo and behold you've just copied all of my um, my little flows here now I'm gonna go ahead and modify something here <clears throat> I'm gonna delete this here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and modify this to something maybe a different example maybe you don't want to just um, troll the internet for random things um, you can certainly do that you know it, it doesn't have to be a color it could be you know people tr tweeting about the Kardashians and is it uh, the sentiment positive or negative you know you could do that and make the the light light up you know red or blue what I'm gonna do is a little different though is instead of color I am gonna look at So this is my Twitter uh, handle. So if someone t direct tweets me or mentions me, then I'm gonna look for this color. So this is gonna be a little more controlled so that I can uh, force these colors by myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this. Things are gonna get a lot quieter here. And I'm probably gonna switch to the other camera. Let's go ahead and clear out all this debug window okay so we're back up and running I'm gonna go ahead and just um, do these tweets myself so I'm gonna do at myself I'm gonna do magenta I like that color tweet and there we go so not only could it be just monitoring random traffic it could be waiting for you to send it to um, command so I don't know if you want to uh, open your garage door using uh, Twitter, but uh, certainly you could come up with some kind of cool thing uh, to do. So thanks for watching.